All right, guys, so today we're gonna look at another new pair of truly wireless earbuds, and I think this is a direct competitor for the Powerbeats Pro. And the pair I'm talking about is the JLab JBuds Epic Air Sport. So the first thing that I wanna point out is these are $150. And so for a pair of JLab, which is usually more on the budget-friendly side, usually around $50, I've seen pairs around $80, jumping all the way up to $150 is pretty steep. But in comparison, the Powerbeats Pro are $250. So are these worth it and can they be comparable to the Powerbeats Pro? So first off, let's check out what features these have and what comes inside the box. So these come with an upgraded class one Bluetooth 5.0 basically helps with having a more stable connection. Um, distance wise, you're gonna be able to get about 30 feet away from your device. And I also didn't experience any lag when I was watching YouTube or Netflix or anything like that. Now, as far as the IP rating, it is IP66 sweat proof. So with these being a pair of earbuds that's geared towards working out, you're not gonna have to worry if you sweat heavily or if you're out running and it rains. This is one that can pretty much withstand anything as long as you're not submerging them into water. Now one great feature with these being a pair of workout earbuds is these have the be aware mode, basically an ambient mode that you can turn on so you're able to hear your surroundings. That helps if you're in a busier area where you need to listen out for cars or if somebody even comes up to you to wanna to talk to you. Instead of having to pull these things off of your ears, you can just put the be aware mode on and just have a conversation that way. Now, as far as what's inside the box, it does come with six sets of the gel ear tips and one with the foam. So it kind of depends on what it is you're looking for. I didn't have any issue with the size that just came right out of the box, but they have different variations to be able to get one that kind of leans towards what you like. Now, another thing I do want to point out, and this is kind of hit or miss with some people, is the charging case actually has the charging cable built in. Now, I understand a lot of people being worried that, okay, well, if something happens to the cable, how am I gonna be able to charge these? Well, you can't, there's really no other way to do that. So you might wanna be a little careful with those. I do know that JLab has spoke about other models and said that they're thinking about adding wireless charging in future models. So that may be something that they do with these as well. Another cool thing about the case is it also has a USB output. So if you're out and about and you need to charge your phone, the case of the JLabs will be able to do that. Now, as far as the battery life goes, on the earbuds themselves, you're going to get around 10 hours, which is very good for an earbud like this. Now the Powerbeats Pro does do nine hours, so this just one-ups it. And the case on the JLab will give you a total of around 70 hours, where the Powerbeats Pro is going to give you around 24. So there is a huge boost in the battery life of the case. Now as far as the case size, it is something that's fairly large. Um, same thing with the Powerbeats Pro, but it kind of has to be because of the earbuds having the hooks, just taking up more space. Um, but this does have a larger battery, so that is adding to the size as well. So this is going to be easier to throw in like a gym bag or just a bag in general, more so than just throwing these in your pocket all the time. The case also has um, four indicator lights on the front, so you can tell what the battery life of the case is always at. And so the earbuds themselves, this, this is what differentiates these from just normal true wireless earbuds. These have a soft, like flexible ear hook. So again, for working out and doing anything activity wise, it's less you have to worry about your earbuds staying in your ear. Now these do a really good job of keeping these in your ear. I do feel like even though it's the flex ear hook, I would have liked to have had at least the option to have these a little bit tighter. Now, as far as your controls, it is touch controls. Now, JLab's controls are a little tricky because the right side does some things and then the left side does something completely different. So it's easy to get this confused, but if you're using these on a normal daily basis, it's really easy to get used to. But you can control your track control, play, pause, volume, also summons your smart assistant. And the beauty of JLab products, in my opinion, is that it has that three EQ settings built in. And being able to control that within the earbud instead of having to have an app is always a plus. It has a bass boost mode, it has a balanced mode, and then it has JLab signature sound, which I personally think JLab signature sound is what it should just be on at all times. And my only complaint about this is I still wish 
that they would include a treble boost, just because there are some people that prefer that sound signature. So it's just nice to have that option depending on who's using these. Now, as far as people that like to use these individually, the only one you're gonna be able to do that with is the right earbud. Now, the microphones on here are pretty decent. Um, I think they do a good job of picking up your vocals, but you guys can be a judge by listening to the test here. All right, guys, so here is a mic test of the J-Labs. Um, it picks up bass tones really, really well. As far as crowd noises, it seems to still pick up plenty of that if you're in a busier area, but you guys can listen to that here as well. And so here is the J-Lab with the crowd noise being played in the background, so you can get an idea of what it would sound like if you were to answer calls in public. All right, so the big thing and the most important thing is how do these sound? I mean, $150 is a lot of money for truly wireless earbuds. Maybe not necessarily a lot of money for sport truly wireless earbuds, considering the top competitor is still gonna cost you $100 more. I think the J-Lab, uh, signature sound is doing the best job of giving me a sound signature that I like. I like the U-shaped EQ where the bass is boosted and these are definitely boosted. Um, it has actually pretty deep bass. It's very punchy. I wouldn't say it's tight and accurate because it, even though it does have that, it still really emphasizes the bass to more feeling it instead of hearing the accuracy of it. So again, if you're working out, you want a more dynamic bass boosted sound because it just keeps you motivated and keeps you going. And the mids actually sound pretty forward in a way where vocals come through fine. Uh, you can hear the clarity of vocals. I never felt like even because the bass is boosted that the sound got congested or muddy. It's a more fairly narrow sound stage in comparison to somebody that's wanting to have an extremely open sound stage. Again, that's kind of leaning to the EQ, but also leaning to the fact that these are in-ear, but it definitely feels more like speakers in front of you. Now, the treble on these are actually very clean and very clear. It's not near to the point of being harsh or bright. Um, you're able to pick up details very well, but that just does so much for the sound when you have a very clean, detailed sound, but a very punchy bass. I felt like the balanced EQ mode I wasn't a fan of, and then the bass boost mode just was just too much bass. It just really at that point did sound muddy, and so the J-Lab signature sound was the only one I like to use it on. So the overall sound I actually do prefer over the Powerbeats Pro. I like the connection, I like the battery life. I think $150, even though a lot of people are gonna have an issue with the fact that it's J-Lab when you're used to spending under $100, sometimes even closer to $50, that is a huge jump in the price. So I definitely see the concern there. Now, as far as my cons, I do, again, think that the ear hooks should have at least maybe a little bit tighter feel. And also, the case is bulky. I still would have liked to have seen maybe it be a little slimmer. That way, throwing it in your pocket definitely doesn't look like you really have something in your pocket at all times. And again, this was a complaint with previous J-Lab models, is I still think adding the EQ setting of having treble boost would definitely be welcome for a lot of people just because I know everybody has a different taste in what they like to hear in their sound. But overall, battery life is gonna be really hard to beat. The build quality of this is great. I personally like the charging cable built into it just because it's less that I have to keep up with. And the sound is exactly what I like in a pair of earbuds. I like it to be loud, which these do. I like to feel bass, which these can do. And I'd still like to hear the clarity of the mid-range and the treble, which these do a fantastic job. Are they perfect? No, but they are very, very good. And for $150, I think this is one of the better sport type truly wireless earbuds that you can pick up. But guys, that's my review of the J-Lab J-Buds Epic Air Sport. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Thank you so much for checking out all the other videos. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for more.